where did it come from and what what if any significance is there to potentially the gospel of mary Canada, would you be up for talking about oxyrhynchus and then I can talk about 5577? Yeah, sure. So um, this fragment, along with some other fragments, were recently published in the publication series of the oxyrhynchus papyri. And oxyrhynchus is a city in Egypt that was excavated in the 19th century, quite famously, um, by Grenfell and Hunt. And a lot of things were excavated because it was a trash heap. And because it was a trash heap, they stumbled across all of this papyrus. Mm. And initially they start publishing the good stuff, um, you know, like, which is why, you know, we have, a, we have a fragment isn't quite the right word of the Gospel of Thomas. It comes out very quickly. It's but, the first one. Yeah. yeah it's the first it's, fragment, yeah. Exactly. So it's, you know, they, they notice something, they know it's good um, and they publish it. And these fragments have re are much shorter and they've recently been published. And what's interesting about them is that unlike, so the Berlin Codex that Libby was talking about, it was purchased um, on the antiquities market by a German diplomat. So we don't know where it came from. Um, we have no idea. Um, it's very hard to pin down dating wise when you don't have a good archeological context. 